Let us see how to make a database in Microsoft Access. For that, we have to open Microsoft Access. On the search box, we type Access so we can easily find out Access. I have Access 2013. Just I double click there. It will take some time to load that file. It is loading now. We have to wait for loading that file. It's loading. Access. We have to take blank database. Blank database. So we have to give database name here. So I couldn't give the database name here. I just press plus button. So again. I want to open a new file to give a database name. So I'm clicking on new blank database. Here I'm giving the database name. I I would like to give the name items. Yeah, just like items. Then let me create the database. You will get a table here, right click, click on design view, here we can have the table name, table name, I would like to give item details, after pressing ok, we will get, uh, we can have field name there, like item code, item code we can keep, number, because number, I am keeping 112, 111 like this, item name, we can the data type is very important short short test but i can restrict the field up to 50 because it was 255 here a uh, quantity the quantity of item in the store we can keep it number yeah price price always in currency so we can get take it as a currency data type so some cases some data type in date so let us bring some field with the date data type so expiry date each product has expiry date so when we type expiry date the data type should be date and time so i'm typing here expiry date so we are selecting data type as date and time after this we just we can right click and open or double click in item so table will be creating and directly we can enter information here like item code item name quantity price it is in dollar let it be and expiry date also we can choose I will get a option, a calendar option to choose expiry date. Okay, we are cho we are choosing a date as expiry date. Each and every product has an expiry date. Okay, so this way we can we can add information into a database so here item code is the first item 112 item name is soap 12 quantity 2 dollar expiry date also i entered the second one uh, 113 toothpaste we have 11 11 uh, quantity 11 quantity 1 dollar price and we put expiry date we can navigate through the calendar to choose the expiry date and we can go for the third item any code we can put 140 or 114 any code each item should have a code here item code is the primary key so we cannot repeat we cannot repeat item code so this way we can enter information into a database 
again I am entering information you can see that now our database and table are created and we inserted information there you can see item code is a primary key if I want to make item name as primary key I can do that by clicking right button so better uh, item code is good so that's why I keep item code as primary key so item primary key we we cannot leave blank it it will be record should be yes 